Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. In this season, we play with hardcore difficulty settings as shown here, including permadeath, which means I lose all skills and any tech I learned since my last death. Three times the amount of zombies spawn and zombie strength is set to max. Virus death rate set higher than hardcore, so I can die easier from viral infection when my antibody stat reaches zero. Loot distribution is set to rare, so very few containers have loot in them. Not only that, but the amount of loot in the containers is minimal. The loot respawn interval is set to zero, so absolutely no respawn. What I find is what I get. Another zombie at the gas station. A little concerned about, uh, I got a few arrows. I'm a little concerned about tripping an alarm, like going into buildings now, because those building alarms Sure do bring a lot of zombies with them. Um, I should probably grab that toolbox. I'll go ahead and consume that, and that way I'll have some room. This could get pretty dangerous. My bow's on its way out, too. That's a good battery. I'll trade these sticks for that battery. And this is why I don't like to go into houses. They usually come up empty. Yeah, you can stay there. And I think that's it. Oh, there's something here. Small backpack will give me fabric. I don't really need the fabric, but I'll break it down. I'll see how much of it will fit into my inventory. I don't think much at all. I don't really have room. Get rid of some sticks. I got all of it in. That worked. Another battery. Two pistols I really don't need. Uh, we'll trade that for... This is the better of the two. And we'll carry this other one. I know I'm running low on toolboxes at home, so I kind of want to hang on to these. Where did that pistol go? There it is. I'm going to drop my bow, put the pistol in here, because that bow is on its way out, and I'll carry the toolbox. See if I can get it in my car. And that's it. Even if I wanted to do a bandit camp, I just don't have uh, any space left. Gotta see if I can make this toolbox work. I can get rid of the condenser. I don't really need that. Uh, the iron pot, I don't really need that either. I sure did bring a lot of clothing with me that I didn't need. Iron ore. Well, you know what? We'll uh, put some of that there and see if we can make this work. There we go. We're full. We're going home. I got rocks on me too. I didn't even see that. I didn't notice. All my bags are in and the gas station's done. Just gonna save my game. Still quite a drive home. Wonder how I wanna do this. Yeah, we're going home. We'll go ahead and uh, meet that NPC and see what that's like. And uh, hopefully it's all good. Yeah, I think my next outing, I'm going to leave all my clothing home except what I want to wear. There shouldn't be anything else on the way home. If I do run into something else, I'll stop, but there really shouldn't be anything. Probably a couple of people mentioned that I can turn fine fabric into, um, or sorry, cloth into fine fabric at the sewing table or the sewing machine or, or something like that. So I think what I'm going to do is get a sewing machine set up. I believe I have the blueprint for it. And uh, I didn't realize there was a resource for it. 
Shows you how much of the sewing I got into in game. Like very little. Is that another gas station? Or just a sign? That's a sign. Oh, a church. I can't stop anyway. Oh, is that like an electronic store? That would have components in it, right? That might be worth a stop later. I'll have to remember that. Uh, vehicles. Only one here. So we'll put put a bed here so I don't have to stop here again because I will forget. I can't remember stuff like this. I may have already checked it. I'm not sure if I've been here. Yeah, it's empty. Still wish there was a compass in game to show you what direction you're heading in or facing. Even if it was just in the vehicle, I'd, I'd be happy with that. Uh, wolves. Oh, another vehicle, too. I don't think there's any zombies at that house across the river. I do believe... I know last season I, I've got that house checked. I don't know about this season. But those beach houses generally have... Uh, or I've had a lot of luck with, like, mods. Weapon mods in them. But we gotta get home. I am overfilled. I wonder if I left on anything on the ground back there other than my bow. Uh, van here. I'm so positive I've checked this. I'm kind of mixing up last season and this season, though. In my head, so... Nine arrows. Oh, I don't even have a bow. Okay, so if I set off the alarm, we're out. Oh. I haven't checked it. Two batteries. Like, I've got those inverters, and now i got two extra batteries. I can get rid of some rocks, for sure. I don't care about that coffee. And the other battery... I might have room for, actually. Look at that. Perfect. So that one vehicle down by the wolves, I haven't checked. I didn't realize I, I had already checked this, uh, or I hadn't checked this vehicle. There we go. Now it's marked. If the devs take that off or away that you actually have to fill the bed to, to have a, a mark on the map, then I'm going to be screwed because I got beds everywhere, but I, at least I can still see them. All right, let's get out of here. And why is there a gas station here? So I've got a bed by... Oh yeah, okay, I know exactly where I'm at. Right, that's one of the first gas stations I did. I hate it when I hop in the back seat. Especially when I'm being chased. It's so annoying. So everything from here on home should be complete. Like for vehicles. We'll check this trader. There's probably nothing here. But I'll have a look. Uh, some Christmas clothing. Nothing really that I need. I've already got wheat seeds, corn seeds. I've got the pistol though, so I can... What is he? Train. This is egg, right? I've already got level 5 eggs, so there's nothing there for me. I could pick up another SKS while I'm here. But I don't have any room for it. Yeah, we'll just leave it. There's nothing there. Kind of excited to get home and get that NPC started on the ore. Start bringing in some su supplies, uh, save some fuel, running out to the ore field and the mine mines. There are some more gas stations in game that I definitely haven't been to, and they are kind of on the eastern end, northeastern end of the map. And I'll hit those, like, way up here. And Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. And then there's, obviously, there's this whole inner city area, areas that I haven't been into yet. I don't think they're complete yet, though. I think the devs have announced a new map mid-year. I don't know when it's going to be out, but I, don't, I, I know that they haven't completed this map yet. I don't think I've done that gas station. Um, 
so I'm not sure why they're making a new map when they haven't completed this one. They're, I know they're still working on this one. Like, it's half of it's empty. I like this map. I don't know what the new map's going to be more geared towards. If it's going to be a solo play map or multiplayer or both or... Or, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're planning on doing. But I do know there's a new map coming. And do I want to restart on a new map? Probably. I think this time around, though, I'm going to keep this map going. Like, keep this series going along with the other map. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Because I, I, don't, I don't know why there's more maps when, you know, the first ones aren't really that finished. Oh, look at that. There's a big fella. And some zombies. We're going to be farming that guy uh, at some point. I'm going to expand out. And now that I've got those inverters, I can get power out here. And uh, what I'll do... I shouldn't be sitting in my car because of the fuel cost. But what I'll do is I'll set up traps right at the... Like there's a fence there. And I'll just... They'll, they'll naturally run into my traps and I'll kill them. And start farming teeth and claws. Big teeth and claws. That's been like a plan from day one. Home sweet home. There's my NPC, my one and only. And she's not sticking around the the uh, the control center. In the last season, they wouldn't leave the control center. Or not the last season. Was it the last season? One of the seasons. They all hung out in front of the control center. They wouldn't walk around. I don't really care for them walking around because they attack my car for some reason. Just like the deer. And she's pretty far away, so let's give her that weapon right now, Mary. And she can use that M4. That's perfect. And what else? We'll go to the main... Or actually, we'll go ahead and connect the power. And we'll get the water source connected. You brought anything in? Yeah, she's already brought some silver. I don't need silver. Silver is very abundant. We'll go and have her focus on the quarry. And we'll see what that looks like at midnight. Or, yeah, I, I think it's every midnight, or it was before, where they, they bring stuff in. So that's not too far off. One dweller, one bed. Productivity is two. I'm going to bring that number up. I'm going to get these other buildings done as soon as I can. Let's see how much she can bring in on her own. But that's good. She's, she's working now. What day is it? Day five. Took me five days to do that, like that, to do that round trip, or to get ready for it and, and do it. Like, that's half a spring is already gone. All right, let's look at... I got to put all my stuff away, but I want to look at uh, making some fine fabric. I was told that I could, and I don't see it in here. And it's not in the loom. And I haven't looked it up, so, you know, kind of learn as I go. I'm guessing it comes with a sewing machine. And in order to do that, I need tailoring skill, because I'm only at level 2. So I'll have to see a trainer. I got some weapons to trade off now. I don't have any books, so I just got level one and two, I'm sure. But yeah, let's go see what it takes to make that. If I even have the blueprint. I don't even have the blueprint. Yeah, so that, I guess that doesn't matter. I already had two inverters. I got lots. Nice to come home to all that iron. And I should have the bricks ready too. So let's look at the uh, the canning machine. I don't think I need a blueprint for that, but I want to start canning food, I think. Electrical engineering, four. Mechanics, five. Yeah, I should have it. I should be able to make it. See what that looks like. One steel ingot. I think I have that on me, don't I?
You freaked me out. I wasn't ready for that. Let's get this set up here. 15 advanced parts. That's quite a bit. But, oh, nine wire. I don't have any. Well, I can make the wire. Nine electrical components. That's going to kill me. I don't know if I want to waste nine electrical components on that. Well, I, I might be able to. I have a little more than I, I remembered. Let's just get the blueprint out. I've never used one. I don't think. I don't think I've ever ever used one. I may have made one at one point, but I don't think I've ever used it. I don't really know where to put it here. I gotta re rebuild this whole thing. Like I'm right out of room now. I'm not sure if I can use it outside. If I can use it outside, I can actually get rid of this one here. And if I can, I can put a little roof over it. It's not a big deal. Pretty big and uh, ugly. Um, I'm going to take snapping off and try to get it close to the wall here. Actually, I'll try to get it right beside this guy. I'm running in and out of here a lot, so I kind of need the room. All right. Let's dump. Um, wire rubber, stealing it. Toolbox. We're going to probably put away the stealing it. I don't want to waste it yet, but we'll make some room and get the other stuff in there like one of these and that rubber I'm not sure what I got for rubber hmm this isn't really priority a little worried about dumping a bunch of stuff in there hey okay, but the blueprints out so that's you know I'm good with that at least if if I do die like uh, always um, or not always but like I've said before if I do die, then I can, uh, then I can still fill it up and use it. Nice to see that coal refilled. I don't really need it, but it's nice to have. It's a nice little convenience for sure. Get this guy fired back up. Because I'm going to need that power now. I may as well... You know what? I should put the resources into making another um, battery table and uh, getting uh, some more power going because we now have that control center to power up and keep powered up. Okay, so I can do any of these three buildings to bring up production. I think we'll start with the cheapest one. Electrical wire 10... Electrical wire 10 and 20 wires. So it'll be one of these two buildings here. And advanced and advanced. They're pretty much the same cost. 9 out of 25 cement in there already. So I may as well keep going with this one here. We'll get everything together uh, that I need to make this. Five pots. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to take quite a bit of iron and, and whatever. Let's see, what was the production at? Two? Let's see how much it goes up when I build that building there. Productivity is at two. Yeah, that's a little lower than I expected. I expected a little higher because, um, I don't know, I just did. Because I have, what do I have for her? I've got this, I've got water. I've got the power. And I've got the home. I think water brings in more productivity. I don't know. 10 simple, 10 advanced, 10 wire, 2 toolbox. Get that, those pots started. 2 iron ingots each. I don't think I have any spares. I just have the one that I might have actually left one behind. No, I've got one there.
Okay, we'll get that rolling and drop this one in here now, plus the iron ingots. And we are looking at quite a bit of stuff yet. Dirty brick. Glad I queued that up before I left. There's 10, 20, 30. I only got three wires, so I'll have to make some wire. Simple parts I'll probably have to make unless I take down some more egg benches. I've got some in my, uh, where do I have them? I have some in my bag. I haven't built an egg bench out in the wild forever, so I can probably use, go ahead and use those. Really dark. And I only need to keep two iron ingots on me for a pot. I don't imagine making a furnace while I'm out, so I can get rid of that. We'll keep the repair kit. And the rest of this is good for as a gold bag, because so I'm going to use it. One toolbox, some more iron. And we'll get some advanced parts going here. Copper and steel. And silver. Make a couple more steel ingots. Just about midnight, I'm going to check the warehouse stock and see what she's brought in. I know she's brought some uh, silver in. I'd like to see some iron ore. And I should probably go mine my uh, ore field next door just to uh, pick up whatever's left. Or the it should have respawned is what I'm trying to say. Five more advanced parts, so I'll go ahead and queue up another stack. On top of this one here. <laughs> and I should probably get some simple parts going too. Or not simple parts, but some wire. And I think I needed copper. Well, I should sleep. cement hmm. so cement and wire I need seven wires so I'll need 14 rubber which sucks because I don't have a lot there but I gotta spend it to make it right well I won't get any of that back but Productivity will go up. Short one. It's, it's too bad. I, like I said before, it's too bad I've got to spend the the rubber on the wire because I can't make rubber and uh, wire I can find right. And now we just need some cement. Iron ore, yeah, okay, so we'll run out and grab some iron ore and get some cement made. I know I've got a can of food in here that's starting to go bad. Let's see if it's a carby meal or not. Not really. I'll cook it though. And get a stamina boost and then run out and grab some iron. Grab some mushrooms too. Ten carbs. That should be enough I think. Just to keep my stamina up.
That should be it for the wire. And uh, just waiting on that concrete, and this should be done. I don't remember which one of these buildings brought production way up, like five or six points. And I'm just going to have to troubleshoot it until I get, you know, I'll, I'll just keep building them until production goes up. I know one of them's a pretty big hit and the other two aren't so much, or they weren't before the last time I built them anyway. Let's see what she's brought me. Yeah, not much. Productivity is two. Let's see if we can bring that up a little bit. I really expected her to wander in front of the building here, not go back and forth between all the buildings. I know they were uh, wandering in front before I went hardcore, I think. And uh, so I kind of, you know, when I was doing a horde night, I can kind of uh, set my base up so that the horde would go towards the front of the building and, and it made it a lot easier. I don't even know where she is. Yeah, she just disappeared. Anyway, I'm going to check my plants. Oh, there she is. Oh, they look like they're ready to go for a harvest, don't they? Oh, it's still five days. That's that's fine. We're not ready yet. Yeah, we should get 100%. Looks nice, though. Should also look at... Uh, the cost of another thermal generator. I'm going to be going through power a lot quicker now. That's not too bad. And iron ingots. I'm getting really close to tearing this place down and rebuilding it. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe not yet. I got to expand out a little more with the stone so I've got somewhere to go. Because that stone will probably have to come out. Just so everything lines up. Oh, yeah, electrical wire. I really don't want to make any more of that. We'll just have to make sure to keep this fed, and um, hopefully I don't run out of power. Looks like I'm still charging. Weird, I'm, I can see the concrete clipping through. Or not the concrete, but the stone foundation. That's weird. Not good. Okay, so we need four more bags. I'll make sure I've, that's what's queued up here. And I've only got three, so we'll do one more. I'm not... I'm going to hold off on the other buildings. Like, I was really geared up towards finishing them off so that her production would be uh, as high as possible. But uh, you just can't afford that wire. That wire is really expensive. I, I don't have the rubber for it and I can't make it still got that port down in G5 in the back of my mind I'd like to do that uh, what else do we have close by my next trip to the copper and saltpeter mine there's a ship down here and some other things but I want to hit hit the back end of things of this town here I think there's a police station down here too now that I've got the weapons I should be okay I think but there's a industrial facility right on the corner here and I did get some supplies there last season We'll have to try again this season and, and uh, see if I can get anything. There's a massive port down here. I just have never really been there before. Hopefully I picked the right building to build here, the accessory building for more production. Or for the greatest production boost. I just went with the cheapest, so who knows. I'm wondering if I should break down some of this clothing now. They sure do have a lot of it. Or I did. Oh, I already put it away.
concrete should be ready. And we'll see what kind of productivity we get out of this building. It's like the ugliest building. I wish they had uh, put a sign on the front of it or something. There's like nothing to let you know. It's the, uh, the canteen. Looks cool on the inside, but they... I mean, that vent there for the, I don't know, the range or whatever. That's cool, but let's see what this looks like. Well, we bumped it up two points, so that'll help. Oh, there's a dog on my side of the road. Look at that. Like right there. Weird. I feel like I'm missing a toolbox. I must have put it away. Next trip out's going to have to be to uh, a place we know where we're going to get some fuel. At least one or two barrels. And uh, I think it's going to be right here. We're going to go to the corner, corner of C6. And there's an industrial facility there. And... Hopefully I get some wire and some fuel, but that'll be our next outing for sure. They got to get fuel. I do have some oil here, but I kind of want to save it. I think I need it to learn a couple of skills. I'm actually debating on whether or not to take off right now. Yeah, I should get out there before it gets too hot, before the summer rolls around. So I'm going to get prepped and uh, we're going to head up here to C6. And see if we can take that industrial site. I'm not going to bring any weapons like guns with me. I'll leave this stuff here because I don't want to worry about the maintenance on them. And not only that, but uh, I may as well save the ammo. Holy cow, it got really dark really quick. Make sure I have enough fur to make two or three bows. And that's it. I got enough for two bows. And the one I had on me is not on me anymore. I must have left it behind. I have to uh I'll have to look for some wildlife. I know there's some wolves on the way. Like they're well, it depends on which way I go, I guess. If I go this way, I won't see the wolves, but if I go up this way I will. But this would be cheaper on fuel. I'm not sure if I can do that with two bows. I have to get one made right away here. I think I left my pot back at that bandit camp, so I'll have to remember that if I'm driving by there ever again. Well, there's one fur. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll go to this uh, industrial straight site over here, see if we can get some fuel, and then I'm going to go south and to the tailoring trainer and uh, get my tailoring trained up a little bit so I can get that sewing table in. Oh, I don't, that's right, I don't even have the blueprint, never mind.
I think I'm back to making stone arrows for now because I can't really afford the iron anymore, even though uh, having the iron arrows was really nice. I just, it's kind of a waste. Considering my situation with iron, I, I don't have a lot. And I was thinking about using that clothing repair kit on uh, my shoes so I don't lose them. Really worried about losing them. That's it, eh? Oh, well. And before I start working on that, I'm going to grab that Medicine 5 book uh, somewhere here. And I may as well get up to Medicine 5. There we go, we got Medicine 5. Look at that. Tailoring is about the only one I need now for my skills. And uh, let's just see about... Ooh, that's bright. That took a long time to get up to level 5. That was a lot of reading. Going back and forth between uh, the happy magazines and, and the skill book. But I think the most important one... I'm not going to worry about the antibody one because I can, uh, I can uh, regain that slowly. I think the most important one will be the antibiotics, right? Yeah, so we'll, we'll learn that one. Actually, we'll learn all three, but I think that'll be the most... Well, I don't have enough rotten food, do I? I gotta wait for harvest for some more. Oh, I gotta make it a... Uh, I gotta learn the advanced medical lab first. Three steel ingots. Not sure if I have that. I might have to make those. I got two. Just wait on that. Maybe I'll bring those smokes with me in case I, I hit the uh, tailoring trainer. And I noticed in my medical bench here I have a, a bunch of antiviral and adrenaline. I can trade those for some uh, training because they're worth quite a bit. What else can I trade here? Uh, that's about it. Medical kits would be good. But I need alcohol and I don't really have any. It takes so long to make one such an expensive way to get uh, tradables. I had a little bit here. So I can make 10 of those. I'm not going to use it for anything else, am I? Well, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait till I can train my uh, medicinal skill and see what it what it's going to take for the, uh, the antiviral or antibodies. Uh, what am I looking for? Blueprints. There it is, and we now have the bench, and we'll learn antibiotics. Curious on what that's going to cost. Not sure if I'll be able to get the bench in, though. I don't know what it's going to cost. Hopefully not wire. Man, i got to rebuild this place so bad. Because I am running out of room here. I guess I don't need that under undercover, do I? I don't think I do. Yeah, it's hokey, but it is what it is. Five wire. That's not too bad. Fifteen rubber. So, yeah, I, I got to go to that other industrial facility. I forgot about the rubber, needing rubber. I may as well queue up some glass. And uh, I don't even have enough toolboxes to make this. I do have to go out. All right. Well, at least that's done. I mean, it's placed. I should probably go online to see what this stuff costs. Like, to make. Oh, I already need food, too. I'm gonna run and grab some fish and some more rocks. And uh, I don't wanna forget my tradables here. If I bring all this stuff, I will have to see that trainer because I, I don't think I have room for the loot from the industrial facility in case I get more solar panels, right? Uh, I'll have to make some room. I'll have to get rid of this stuff. I have a bottle of booze there too somewhere.
Oh, it's after midnight, so we should... I, I do need fish, but I want to see if that production productivity level increased her... her uh, oh, look at that, some copper. I don't need copper, but that's better than nothing. I mean, it's not like two pieces, it's, it's nine. It's going to be slow going. All right, um... Let's go, uh, let's go get some fish. I suppose I can grab it on the way out instead of running all the way out. There's a police station down there. I might actually bring my 9 mil with me. I think I can add a couple of mods here too. So I'm just missing the site, which I, I guess I do have. I don't think it really adds much to it. I'd rather have the red dot site. But we'll put this one on there for now. Yeah, I'll bring that because I think I'm going to go into the police station and see. Hopefully we can get lucky and get um, the solar array blueprint from there. And it's still not too hot that I can't wear some body armor. I'll bring that with me. Should be enough for, for another bow. And I think that's it for this. Yeah, I might even find the sewing table, um, advanced sewing table, or the sewing table blueprint up there too. So make sure these guys are full. I'll hold off on making any more iron for now. In case they need more concrete. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave, so that's that's fine if I uh, queue up iron. I'll save some of this copper in case I need it for something. I don't really need to process it right now. Got lots of bricks. Not a lot of arrows. I might have some in one of my bags here or in the crate. Just run out and grab some mushrooms here. Then I can do some fishing when I get up to the industrial facility. That's not my pick. Oh, that's a good meal. I'll eat that right now. 20 carb, 20 uh, protein. It's 
double check to make sure I grab that toolbox. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I got that. Thirty mil, or not thirty mil, but nine mil. Yeah, I think we'll try try to get into the police station. Maybe we'll do it first before summer because I've got all this gear on. And uh, hopefully I get the blueprints that I need. If I don't, then I don't. I do believe we're ready to go. Let's see what happens here. Thanks for uh, taking care of my traps like that. Man, her ammo, her shots didn't count for much. That kind of sucked. Well, at least I know now I won't be curious where my traps went if she decides to destroy them all. And I come back, I'm like, well, what, what happened to my traps? I won't think that the zombies came in. All right, let's get out of here. Pretty sure I have everything I need. I got ammo, I got tradables. We'll go to that police station. It's somewhere in here, in B6. It's right off the road here somewhere. That'll be it for this video, and you know what to do to show your support. Appreciate all the comments. Thanks for watching.